welcome, Muggles, to the Wizarding World of Mathematics, where today I'll be teaching you about an unsolved problem called P versus NP. P versus NP is a question that asks if every problem whose solution can be quickly verified by a computer can also be quickly solved by a computer. So what does that mean? Well, let's break it down. P represents a set of decision problems that can be solved by a computer in polynomial time. To solve a problem in polynomial time means that the time needed for a solution is a polynomial function of the size of the problem. For example, say you're shopping in Diagon Alley and want to make sure that everything you have on your shopping list, you have in your trolley. For each of the n items on your shopping list, you would have to look through n items in your trolley, making the time to solve proportional to n squared, a polynomial function. Now, NP represents the set of decision problems that can be checked by computer in polynomial time. For example, say I'm trying to break into Snape's storage closet of potions, but he has a lock with numeric password of length n. The time it would take me to try all possible combinations and find a solution is proportional to 10 to the n, an exponential function, taking me decades to guess. However, if you gave me a possible solution, it would take me a relatively short amount of time to check and see if it's right. In the muggle world, some problems of P include arithmetic operations, sorting, and solving a Rubik's cube. Some problems in NP include vehicle routing, huge prime factorization, and solving a very large Sudoku. Now that we know what P and NP are, the unanswered question is whether these two sets are really the same or not. The world we understand now is P doesn't equal NP, where P problems are easily solved in polynomial time, therefore making them easy to check in polynomial time. Since they can be easily checked in polynomial time, P problems then fall under the category of NP problems. However, NP problems are outside of P problems because they are not easily solved in polynomial time. That's the difference. Both easy to check, but one is harder to solve. On the contrary, those who believe that P does equal NP think that both these sets of problems are the same, easy to solve and check in polynomial time. Yet, no one has been able to prove which argument is correct. So why is this important? Well, it turns out that if P did equal NP, our whole world would change. Muggle cryptography, which relies on the NP problem of factoring large primes, would be cracked. The cure for cancer, which is hidden behind the NP problem of protein folding, would be easily found. Both our world and the Muggle world would be drastically different. <gasps> if you could hear Snape coming, I must go. Remember, Muggle. You need to teach everyone about this concept and help us find the answer. <laughs>